Mm -hmm. Hi, I'm Roger Adams, Associate Professor and Rare Book Librarian at Hale Library. Two years ago, through the help and generosity of the Friends of the K-State Libraries, we were able to acquire the David J. Williams III L. Frank Baum Collection. This collection contains over 600 items written by L. Frank Baum or written in the Oz universe. I'm holding here the first printing of The Wonderful Wizard of Oz. Today, L. Frank Baum is remembered mostly for his work with The Wizard of Oz and other books in the Oz universe, but few people know that he actually wrote a number of other books for children not related to The Wizard of Oz at all. And in fact, he wrote under several pen names. Among them, he wrote Aunt Jane's Nieces series under a woman's name, Laura Bancroft. The David J. Williams III L. Frank Baum Collection helps support the work of the children's literature track from the Department of English. We were also recently able to acquire the David J. Williams III Science Fiction, Fantasy, and Horror Collection. This collection contains well over 3,000 items of science fiction, fantasy, and horror that are not only rare or limited or signed, but just exceedingly interesting including a number of pulp magazines from the 1920s through the 1940s, some of the rarest science fiction available. Does this book look familiar? This is the eighth printing and the last by Bram Stoker's original publisher, Constable and Company from London. We recently acquired this to supplement the David J. Williams III collection, and it is so fun because all the previous editions of Dracula appeared in a buttercup yellow that don't even begin to match this gruesome gothic blood red. Please check the library's catalog in the near future as we're beginning to catalog the science fiction, fantasy, and horror collection. Special Collections is both a museum and a library. It's a museum in the sense that we take these items and we put them in temperature controlled and humidity and secure areas, but that doesn't mean that we put them there to keep them away from the public. We want you to come use our collections. Our collections are open to anyone, undergraduates, graduates, faculty and staff, as well as the general public. We hope to see you someday in our department.